Hi, I'm Father Tom Newton. I'm the new pastor here at St. Damien. I was assigned here by Bishop Sullivan, who, as you know, is the Bishop of the Camden Diocese on July 15th. So I've been here just a little over uh, two months, and I am very happy to have moved from Cherry Hill down here to Ocean City. Um, I love the parish. I, I love the people that I've met. Um, and I just want to say hello to the parents and guardians and families and grandparents and especially the young people who are uh, participants in our parish religious education program. I know it's a difficult time. It's a tough time with this COVID-19. We're not able to come together as we normally do, but I really trust Sister Joelle. Uh, I'm really uh, believe that she will put together a modified program for you this year, at least for the first semester of this year. And hopefully January or shortly after January, um, you'll be able to come on back here uh, to our school uh, to continue your in-person religious education. Once again, I'm Father Tom Newton, I'm the new pastor here. I'm excited and, and happy to be here. And I really look forward to meeting all of you, meeting your families, uh, your parents. Um, I will continue to pray for you pray for all of you, and I ask you to pray for me and our entire staff here at St. Damien. God bless you. Jesus and I welcome you to a new, new year of faith formation here at St. Damien in Ocean City. My name is Sister Joelle Thrent, and I'm a Sister of Christian Charity and the Director of Religious Education for St. Damien Parish. I am here to share the faith with you to share, let, help you get to know Jesus better, and I'm available whenever you might need me. Someone has coined this year as the year of the domestic church, and it truly is. The church has always considered the family to be a miniature church because it is the seat of faith formation. I will truly miss meeting your children uh, each week and greeting them as they enter. But although we must observe social distancing for the welfare of all of us, God does not social distance. His spirit is always available to us whenever we call him. We are truly never alone. You parents are the crucial ingredient in passing on the faith to your children so that they grow in their love for God and his church and continue to grow their entire life. Your example and your enthusiasm are key. They say that the faith is not taught, but rather caught. So let's start an epidemic here in Ocean City, one that will bring all of us to a deeper faith in Jesus. You can look at this new style of faith formation as an opportunity to grow in an appreciation of your own faith. Why not approach the virtual classes and your work with your children and as, as an adventure, not a burden? An essential element of this new catechesis might be called faith talk between parents and children. This could be at mealtime, bedtime, in the car, anytime at all. Talking about our faith will help us realize that God is involved in every part of our daily life. He is not only all around us, but he is within each one of us. We are hoping that parents will accompany their children in completing the lesson presented by the catechist in the brief Zoom lesson each week. The new texts for grades one to six offer many resources for you to use to learn the main theme of each lesson. And all the students in these grades will be discussing the same theme each week, so it should be easy for parents to work with all their children at the same time. Attendance will be taken from the assignments submitted before the next lesson. So if they're not able to participate in the Zoom session, they will not miss out on the work. The catechist for kindergarten and grade seven will provide all the directions that you need for each lesson. We will also have an IT helper in case any technological glitches come up during the sessions. And we wanna thank Carly Warner for graciously volunteering to do this work for us. And so let's recap. Please send in your registration forms as soon as possible. Pick up the textbooks and family folders that are located in the gym, which contain a handbook for the parents, the first semester calendar of classes, 
the new intergenerational activities designed as a fun way to connect and to learn. Check out the many suggestions that are given there and why don't you as a family enjoy some of them. And a family prayer card. It's even more important now that we support one another in prayer as we journey through these uncertain times. And each class has prayer sponsors that will support the catechists and the students with their prayers. And then finally, participate in the Zoom training session on Wednesday, September the 30th at 7 o'clock p.m. If you've been able to look through the portal for the new textbooks, you may have some questions that have come up that sadly your representative will be sure to answer all your questions. Classes begin on Sunday, October the 4th for grades one, four, six, and seven, and Monday, October the 5th for kindergarten, grade two, three, and five. The exact times for each class are listed in the September parent update. Please be sure to read that update that comes every month to keep up with the current events. If you don't receive a copy, check your spam folder, and if you can't find it there, contact me and I'll send you another copy. Each catechist will provide the link for you to use for each class. So let's continue to pray for each other as we journey through this adventure of virtual learning. And together, let us gather all our intentions together and pray together, please. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you all.